My name is Lexi and I work with Backcountry.com up in Park City, Utah. I am the community manager there, so I do a lot of community outreach, getting people to view outdoor gear. I make terrariums on the side to kind of fulfill that science, inner science geek inside. Tonight, so we'll just go, I'll do a quick overview of the terrarium. You strip it down, it's basically just rocks, a little bit of moss, some peat moss soil, and then the actual moss itself. So it's very simple. It only takes about 10 minutes to actually make a terrarium. So I'll probably just um, go through that, explain some basic tips about care, maybe troubleshooting, and we'll be on our way. thrive on neglect so for those of us that have the brown thumbs it's a great way to kind of maybe try your hand at growing something a little green get some green in your desk so it's really fun and, and gathering moss locally is it's really fun At the Natural History Museum of Utah, we really strive to spark people's curiosity in the natural world. And we think that these uh, artist workshops are the perfect way to do that. Uh, people, uh, hopefully when they take one of these workshops, they'll go out into nature and they'll look at the natural world in a little bit of a different way, with an artistic eye. Utah is full of amazing things. And we want to encourage people to get out, get into nature, explore and try to find something from the natural world that they think is beautiful and unique and uh, create a piece of art. Oh.